Well, Shalom Baruch, how are you today? Thank God, Aaron, I'm doing good. All right, well, for all of our listeners that may not know me, my name is Aaron Shreesh, and I've been working with Love Israel for about a year now doing different projects. And one of those projects is to help plan for this virtual conference. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to share more about the conference so that people know what they can expect. So I'm gonna be asking Baruch you some questions, but I just wanna upfront share some of the details for the conference. So the title of this conference is gonna be Jeremiah, a prophet for our day two. It's gonna be on Sunday, October 6th, starting at 3 p.m. And it's gonna to go till about 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that's 3 p.m. Eastern time till about 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to be broadcasting on YouTube, Facebook, and loveisrael.org. So just a couple of questions for you, Baruch, so we can share more about this conference. And I wanted to begin by just asking you, why are we doing a virtual conference this year instead of our standard national conference in Orlando? Well, one reason is that last year we did a virtual conference because it was very difficult for us to travel to the United States. And the viewership was much more than we've ever had before. So we thought that was a, a good reason to do it. Secondly, the hotels are getting more and more difficult to work with. They don't return emails or phone calls. They wait until the last moment. It makes it very difficult to plan. So that was another reason. And the third reason was stewardship. When we do a conference like this, the costs are very, very minimal. When we do a conference in a hotel, it is much more expensive. And therefore, we figured, let's try another virtual conference and right. see if the Lord will bless it as he did last year. That's really good. I appreciate you sharing that. I appreciate that honesty. And one of the other things we've talked about in the past is how this is kind of a part of a strategic change that we're making uh, to do some smaller, more regional conferences. Can you speak to that for a moment? Yes. One of the things we'd like to do is just what you alluded to, is to do some conferences. We do conferences all over the world. In fact, in six of the continents, we've done conferences. And in America, we're going to do more of a focus on regional conferences in different areas. Again, we, we are saving money by doing this. And also, more people are able to actually participate. We did some in February, and when we look at those three conferences that we did, we found a lot more people came to those three than at our national conference. So again, it just made some sense to us to do it this way. Yeah, and hopefully what this allows us to do is to come closer to the locations where people are living so they don't have to travel all the way to Orlando or if they're living so far away they're unable to travel to Orlando we can come to them so I think it's part of a great strategy and I'm excited that we're uh, doing this virtual conference now please share with us a little bit about what you're going to be teaching at this virtual conference in October well there's going to be three sessions we're going to be looking at Jeremiah as a prophet why did God call him? What was going on during the days of Jeremiah? And what was the greatest problem that, that Jeremiah was encountering among the people? Secondly, we're going to look at a passage of Scripture that deals with the significance of the seventh day, meaning the Shabbat, or in English, the Sabbath. Why is that important? Does it have any kingdom connections? anything that can help us grow closer to God. And then thirdly, we're going to be looking at a passage of Scripture where the people apparently recognized Jeremiah as a prophet, that God was speaking to him, and they come humbly before him. But what we find is, really, there is not a change among the people. They want to do what they want to do. And that's one of the primary problems within the, the people that, that were under Jeremiah's influence, his uh, prophetic ministry. They, they didn't want to obey God. They were committed to their own way. And again, we're going to see that they never learned anything from what they experienced, what Jeremiah was saying, and God was righteous 
and punishing them in the severe way that he did. Well, that's great. And I'm really excited to learn more about Jeremiah. Can you share a little bit about why this topic is really important for us as believers today? Well, I think a couple of reasons. One of them is simply that people don't know the content of, of the prophetic books. They may hear a message out of one chapter, a few verses, but they really don't understand what was the prophet's objective and how are these prophetic writings very relevant for the church today and preparing us for the kingdom of God. So I believe that they have great significance and will impact us the way we think and hopefully the way we behave and will prepare us for what God's going to do, in my opinion, and not the so much distant future. Well, that's great. Well, I'm excited, and I know that for people that come with an open heart, that it is going to have a wonderful impact on their lives. And that's with all of our teachings. We talked about this before. With all of your teachings, you know, your hope and prayer is that just people would walk in obedience to God's Word. And I believe that uh, that's going to happen when people come humbly and hear the Word at the conference. So I just want to share a few more details about the conference so people know what to expect. Uh, first off, we're going to do something a little bit different this year. We're, we're actually going to be providing a study guide in advance of the conference so that people can study these passages for themselves. Brute, you've prepared some questions. Um, send them over to me and I'm preparing the study guide. And we're going to be sharing that via our monthly email newsletter. So if you're not subscribe to our newsletter, please get on loveisrael.org, subscribe to our newsletter. We're also going to be posting it on our website. But I think that study guide is going to be a really important way that people can prepare their hearts and their minds for this conference. And anytime you prepare for something, you're going to get so much more out of the teaching itself. So we highly encourage you to get your hands on that study guide, either from the email newsletter or from the website. And then the other thing that I really like about this, the conference and the way we're doing this this year is we're trying to make it as much like an in-person conference as possible, meaning it's not going to be just teaching. You know, we're going to be trying to add some other elements into this live stream. You know, officially we start at 3 p.m., but we really encourage people to get there about 15 minutes early when we actually launch the live stream because we're going to be having a fun interactive game that's really based on the study guide. So if you come prepared, then you're going to do well at that game. And the great thing is we're going to have prizes. So highly encourage people to show up at 245, prepare through your study guide, and we're going to have a we're going to kick off with a fun game. And then at 3 p.m., you know, we'll do, of course do some intro, but we're going to have some worship. We really want to begin our time together with worshiping the Lord in song. And then we're going to have that first teaching session. And immediately after that teaching session, we're going to have a time of prayer. And I'm sure you already picked this up, but this is going to be on October 6th, the day before the one year anniversary of October 7th. So that's going to be a really important time to be praying for Israel and the Jewish people. So we're going to set aside time during our conference to do just that. And then we're going to take a break. We're going to have two breaks between the three different sessions. And during the break, of course, you know, people are going to do what they do on breaks. But one of the other things you want to provide is questions. We're going to have questions on the screen for people. If you're in a group, you're going to have some questions that you can talk to your uh, friends and your family about. And then we're going to have the second session. And right after that second session, we're going to hear from your lovely wife, Rivka. And she's going to give us an update on the ministry. We'll also get to hear from Michael or Mikael um, that deals a lot with the Russia ministry. And then after we hear from them, we're going to hear from our U.S. team leader, uh, Joel and Heidi, and they're going to be providing updates uh, about what's going on in the U.S. Love Israel team. I'm going to follow up with just some different project updates. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people may not be aware about. So we want to make sure that you know kind of some of the projects that we have going on. And then we're going to have the third session. Right after that third session, we're going to try to, you know, get done pretty quickly, but we're going to close with a time of prayer and have some application questions. 
So that's really what you can expect. It's more than just teaching. We're trying to add in some of those other elements. So again, you can join this conference by going on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and loveisrael.org. But one other questions I have for you, Baruch, uh, before I wrap us up is, is this live stream going to be available in Spanish? Or if not, when can we expect to have a Spanish translation? It will not be uh, available live in Spanish. We won't have subtitles like we do for our weekly live stream, Midnight from Jerusalem. But I would say a few weeks after the conclusion of this conference, uh, our, our good friend and a very hard and diligent worker, Einstein Guzman, he will uh, get this into Spanish. So it will be available in a few short weeks for the Spanish-speaking uh, population, which, by the way, is the largest part of loveisrael.org are the Spanish speakers. So we're very grateful for them, their their commitment, and their loyalty to uh, our, our organization. Absolutely. Well, I just want to make sure everyone was aware of that fact. Um, when we do this conference, one of the things we're also going to be doing is really encouraging you to watch in groups. Perhaps you're part of a Bible study. That may not even be a Bible study associated with Love Israel. But if you're part of a Bible study, invite people from your Bible study over and watch the live stream together. Or you can host your friends and your family for the conference. I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for people to connect, to fellowship, and to talk about the Word together. A couple other administrative things. Registration is not required. You just simply have to start watching on YouTube, Facebook, or the website, so you don't even have to think about registration. So with that, that's all the details we wanted to provide for you. I did want to just reiterate to download that study guide when you see that available. But Baruch, I just want to turn it over to you for any final comments. Well, oftentimes people want to share their, their faith with uh, Jewish individuals. Like you said, it is going to be uh, one day before the October 7th anniversary. And secondly, I would say that, that this study, based upon the prophecy of Jeremiah, would be a great study to invite Jewish friends or neighbors to, invite them there. They're not going to feel uh, pros proselyted at all, but they're mm -hmm. going to hear biblical truth that can open up a dialogue. And that's what we want to do. There will be clearly some, some relevance uh, in that those teachings in regard to the gospel. So right. they'll hear biblical truth and even new covenant truth. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you doing this so much, investing the time and energy to do these conferences. I'm very excited about it. I appreciate your time, uh, taking out your time to do this video so we can share more with people before the conference. Uh, but with that, thank you all so much for watching this video. And we're excited to see you October 6th at 2.45 p.m. EST for our 2024 U.S. virtual conference.